I was born in the early 1990s in Manhattan, New York City. My parents are both Italian. My mother grew up in the Bronx and my dad, Brooklyn. They had tried for a while to have children and boy, did they get it. My mother ended up having triplets, two boys and one girl. Unfortunately, there were complications with the C-section and my mother had gotten very sick. Uh, was put on dialysis, ending up with a double kidney transplant. Uh, She was in the hospital for years, my father by her side the whole time. As a result of this, my grandmother took care of my brother, sister, and myself until my mother was better. At a later time, my sister was diagnosed with mental disabilities and being intellectually delayed. This took a huge toll on my mother and father. She was previously a very successful accountant in Manhattan, but could no longer work. And my father had other issues his whole life that were exacerbated by the stress of what was happening to my mother. I don't really have many memories from being a child. I went to Catholic school in the Bronx for the first years of my life. I remember almost choking to death on a piece of candy in kindergarten, but that's about it. My parents decided to move north of the city out of the Bronx for better public schools. When I was in second grade, I was asked to read the blackboard and couldn't read it, uh, realizing I needed glasses. So I guess not being able to see is a good reason to not have any memories. I didn't really enjoy school. I had no guidance whatsoever, so all I really did was watch TV or play video games from when I got home to when I went to sleep. Uh, might have had something to do with my sister being mentally disabled and uh, my parents focusing more on her, uh, but I don't really know. For some reason, my parents had the idea that if me and my brother couldn't play video games during the week, we would end up doing better in school. Uh, This didn't make sense to me because we were watching TV instead, uh, not exactly being productive. At about 13 to 14 years old, uh, this resulted to me becoming addicted to video games. I would start sneakily playing them during the week. Uh, This lasted through my early 20s. From RuneScape to World of Warcraft, Path of Exile, and League of Legends, I spent 12 to 15 hours per day on my computer. The combination of lack of guidance and understanding of what life is about gave me no motivation to pursue other things. Also, the limiting of my video game time during the week certainly didn't help as a child. All I did on the weekends was play video games, and that's all I really had to look forward to. My brother graduated high school as valedictorian, went on to college, ended up getting a master's in physics. Uh, This took him about seven years. Throughout that period of time, I struggled on and off with community college, had horrible jobs from retail stores to -to door-to-door sales. I had picked up weightlifting back in high school, Uh, so all I was really doing was working out, playing video games, and working crappy minimum wage jobs. I had horrible acne my whole life, and when I was about 20, things weren't getting any better. I ended up taking a drug called Accutane. It fixed my acne, but completely ruined my stomach, and I was no longer able to follow my bodybuilding diet, uh, not being able to digest food, even things like sweet potatoes and rice. This led me to exploring my health further, Uh, discovering hunter-gatherer and ketogenic diets. I started my nutrition and health journey at this point. Uh, Not only that, I was no longer as motivated to play video games after realizing they weren't making me happy. The next step in my so-called career was waiting tables and bartending. It was an income upgrade compared to what I was making, and having no connections or real skills, it took me literally hundreds of interviews before I ended up with a job in Manhattan. Uh, Despite my efforts, I never really had a great job for more than a few months or was able to make a living wage. However, I did save up enough money for a goal I had in the back of my mind. I was always unhappy with my chin, teeth, and jaw because they did not form properly. A severe underbite that should have been addressed the first time I had braces as a teenager. I started talking to some orthodontists and realized that in order to fix my bite, I needed to have jaw surgery. 
before I had my jaw surgery, it's worth mentioning I had LASIK eye surgery as well. Uh, when I took Accutane, it dried my eyes out so much I could no longer wear contacts. Uh, thankfully, I was a candidate and everything went well with LASIK. By this time, I was in my early to mid-20s, completely sick of the hospitality industry, had enough of it. So I decided after my jaw surgery, I would take some acting classes, see how I liked it, and start a YouTube channel focusing on health and the diet that I had been following for several years. At the time, I felt like I had an important message to spread, and I still do. Uh, that's the reason I have my YouTube channel to this day, uh, to educate people on the importance of nutrient density and make everyone the healthiest version of themselves. Everything ended up going well with my jaw surgery, but I had left my job prior to that and struggled from 2016 onwards uh, trying to find a secure job. I made YouTube videos for several years up until the middle of 2018 uh, when I was disappointed with my efforts and thought about quitting YouTube. Uh, part of that was because I lost several jobs for reasons I couldn't figure out. So, you know, I thought that people were seeing some of my YouTube videos that, you know, weren't exactly approachable. Uh, things like me eating raw meat, raw liver, saying certain things could have easily compromised my employment at any point in time. Towards the end of 2018, I ended up getting a more secure day job. Uh, my YouTube channel started gaining more traction and subscribers, and I am now at the point where the stress and expenses of living are not my top concern, and I can really thank you guys for that. Thank you guys for joining me today. I did forget to mention uh, that I do currently stay in one of the boroughs of Manhattan in an apartment, but I drive back and forth to my parents' house on pretty much a daily basis uh, to help take care of my mentally disabled sister. I do have another part-time job right now uh, that I work approximately 30 hours per week. Uh, that, in addition to my YouTube channel, uh, the new meat company, New Hygiene Products, is uh, a bit much on my plate at the moment, but Frankie Boy is working hard. Uh, that being said, uh, if you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, you can check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We are offering high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to frankiesnaturals.com where we have things like fluoride free tooth powder, aluminum free deodorant, minimally processed, minimal ingredient, natural hygiene, and beauty products. That's at frankiesnaturals.com. Thanks again for joining me today, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week.